Hello guys! Today we are making amazing peach tart. So, let's get started. First, let's start from the top dough. In the bowl, add all purpose flour, powdered sugar, salt, and almond flour. Mix lovely and add cold cubed butter and mix until it gets very sandy like this. Finally, add egg and mix until it turns into the dough like this and check if it's evenly mixed. And now I'm gonna divide this in half. So today I made one batch of my original recipe from this tutorial, but for this peach tart, you're only gonna need one of this. So you can make a half batch or just make one batch and save the rest for later use. I'm gonna put both amounts in the description so that you can decide later. This time I left the dough in a room temperature for about 15 minutes so that it's not gonna be too hard. To roll the dough, I like to use bread flour because it doesn't stick as much as other flours and it spreads more evenly. But if you don't have that, you can use all-purpose flour instead. And it's very important to apply all over the dough and the working surface frequently so that the dough is not going to stick to the working surface and rolling pin. So first, push, push, push like this until the dough gets soft enough to roll. And once you feel the dough is soft enough, you can start rolling like this. Try adding same pressure from both hands to roll evenly. I highly recommend rolling it very thin. To enjoy the very delicate crispiness, it doesn't taste so good when the dough is very thick. The dough is very fragile when it's soft, so chill it in the fridge if it's too soft to handle at this point. Apply some bread flour on the bottom so that the tart comes off easier later. And cut the dough like this. And move it on a pan. If the dough is very cold and too hard to bend at this point, just wait a little bit and it'll get flexible. And even if it breaks or you see the tears, you can easily patch them up together. So no worry. Next, fold the corner like this to make sure there's no gap in the corners so that the side is not gonna slide down as you bake in the oven. And next, press the dough with some like this to ensure that it sticks to the side completely. And also I'm checking the thickness. So if you feel there's any spot that is too thin or too thick, you can adjust at this point. Finally, cut the excess dough on top like this. You can of course chill it first and cut. That way you can create a very clean cut easily. And poke the bottom with a fork. This helps to cook the dough more evenly. And let's chill it in the fridge while we are working on what goes in the tart. Cut fresh peach in four pieces like this. And if it doesn't come off easily, you can make cuts on top like this and it should come off easier. And this tart tastes better with ripe peach, but it's gonna be a lot harder to slice when it's very soft. So when you touch it, it shouldn't be too firm or too jiggly. I like to cut very thinly because one, it looks very nice and you can cut it a lot easier with a fork when you eat it and you can cook slew the peach more evenly. And do this ahead so that you can remove the excess liquids from the peach. Today I mixed up two kinds of peach. It might be a preference, but I prefer white peach better for the smell. The orange peach was really good too. It's more tart and it looks very pretty. So that's why I decided to mix them up. Next, let's make almond cream. It is so easy, you just have to mix all the ingredients. It's important to use very soft butter so that it blends easily. Add powdered sugar, salt, and mix until it gets very smooth. It's very thick at the very beginning, but keep mixing and it'll get smooth like this. And add almond flour, egg, and opapas flour, and mix until it looks smooth. And at the very end, we're gonna add all the flavors, which is vanilla beans, lemon zest, and lemon juice. The exotic vanilla bean flavor goes so well with the peach, but you can also use vanilla extract or just omit it. 
the extra acidity from lemon makes this peach tart more refreshing. I love the good amount of tartness with the peach. In the very end, clean the bowl to ensure that it's evenly mixed. Spread the cream on the top dough evenly. And place the cup each. Just slide them down like that. And depending on how fast you can finish this, there's a high chance that the top dough gets soft again. So that is why I always like to chill it back in the fridge for about 30 to 1 hour so that the top dough is not going to slide down as you bake it in the oven. Bake until it looks golden brown all around the surface and the cream is cooked completely. And while it's cooling down, it's prepared for the graze and it finish up this tote. In the pot, add jam, water and lemon juice and heat it up until it starts boiling hot like this. And strain it to remove chunks. Today I used apricot jam because it matches really well with peach, but of course you can use peach jam instead. And to brush it on top of the tart, tap, tap, tap on top instead of loving the surface so that the peach is not gonna move. And this is a really good amount of graze, but I highly recommend applying all of it. This melty graze makes this tart a lot more delicious and it also prevents it from getting dried quickly. And toast sliced almond and sprinkle on top of the tart. It adds such amazing crunchiness to it. And today I'm gonna add some diced pistachios as well. I love the contrast of green and orange color. And it is complete. It is so delicious and the steps are very simple, especially because you don't have to brine bake the tart. So I hope you're gonna enjoy this tart with your friends and family and enjoy the summer. I recommend consuming this cake within that day if possible for the best taste. But when you need to store it, store it in the fridge for up to four to five days. And you can enjoy this tart with other types of fruits. Most of the time it works really well with not too soggy fruits. I'm gonna share the fruits I tried in the past right here. I personally really love apricot version of this. I really like how apricot tastes when it's cooked. So I highly recommend trying that out also if you are interested. And of course, you can enjoy this tart with any other size and shape. Like this one has small tartlets because I can enjoy the crispy crust in every bite. And the class tend to be a little bit more crispier. There are not so many tart that looks fabulous and you can transport so easily without worrying about it getting soft. So in the past, I made this almond tart to sell outside at like farmer's market. And also I brought those tart for my past interviews, including one or two more desserts. I love them. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please let me know. And don't forget to check out the vlog version of this tutorial and get the printable recipe there. The link is below. So that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy pastry living, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye. Cheers.